This is Panther Weekly here with track and field head coach Tony Rowe. Coach, can you first talk about your team's performance at the Principia Relays? Well, there's so many things to talk about for that meet. We, uh, we had our strongest performance since I've been here, certainly, but uh, uh, it was a relay meet because uh, there are individual events, but there's also uh, more relays than usual. And we did very well in the relays. We actually won the uh, uh, the distance medley for women, uh, the women's 4x200 relay, uh, and the men's sprint medley relay, and we placed high in the others, uh, you know, the 4x4 four four and, and that kind of thing. So it was a really uh, positive situation for us. We had some, some, uh, some kids compete really well uh, in the 4x2. Kara Kelly uh, held off uh, you know, a strong challenge from our from the second place team, uh, and uh, they both came across the line and 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 fell across the line. But uh, that's the kind of effort that we that we got. And then uh, we had so so many good things happen. We we put two guys in the high jump, uh, Dallin Goldring and James Glenn, that had never high jumped before in competition. And they uh, they actually are the two conference leaders in the high jump now. So that, you know things like that that happened is just uh, you know so many good things going on. The, our big uh, you know the big news coming out of it was that uh, uh, Crystal Hopkins uh, qualified provisionally for the NCAA indoor meet. Uh, she just had a, a really great throw on uh, on her last throw of the competition, and uh, so we're. We're just excited. There's a lot of good things, and not just the performances. It seemed like the team really enjoyed the meet, and uh, uh, I like the attitude and the atmosphere that's you know around the team. So it was a very positive weekend for us. You got another meet this weekend up in Indiana, the DePaul Small Tiger Invitational. Uh, so back-to-back -back weekends now for your uh, meets. Uh, what are you looking forward to, and expectations-wise, for this one? We, we just want to continue to improve. Uh, you know, it, it, there's a lot of uh, reasons for motivation right now. Uh, this, like the past weekend, we, we again we set 15 or 16 school records, and and uh, as a young program, that's going to happen. But you know, the, the kids continue to put in the effort, and so uh, uh, we, you know, we're still in a situation where we're trying kids at different at different events, and uh, we're just trying to. Uh, teach you as many things and spread out as much as we can uh, right now in these meets uh, in preparation for a good conference showing and we'll know where to you know where to put them uh, uh, you know in the conference three weeks down the road but we do have uh, you know it's a back-to-back -back situation uh, and then we also run next Friday night and uh, then we skip a week and then the conference meet coming up after that. Are there any uh, events in particular this week in that you kind of feel like you have a strong chance to compete heavily in or possibly win? Well, it is uh, uh, it is a scored meet, and not all the indoor meets are scored, but this one is, so we'd like to run as well as we did last weekend, but uh, but we have a couple situations. We've got, you know, one of our, our lady throwers is not going to go who would score for us in the meet, and then we, we're, uh, we have two or three injuries that we're trying to kind of uh, go light on, so we're not going to compete. Uh, get to compete as heavily as we as we hope we would, as far as uh, individuals and, and putting people in lots of events. But uh, no, we're just looking for continued improvement. Uh, and uh, you know, every competition is a chance to uh, to get better. So uh, so we're excited about it. All right, coach. Thank you for your time, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you, Daniel.